What is going on, Pokemon fans and Pokemon fans? Welcome back to Open TCGs. Yeah, let me just go ahead and adjust this camera just a little bit. I think feel like it's like not phasing properly. There we go. Now we can go ahead and welcome back to Open TCGs. This is another video here for you guys, and I'm just loving to make these videos. And reason why is because, as you can see, we do have some more Ultra Prism pre-release kits that I was able to get from my GameStop. And yes, um, go ahead and check out your local GameStops if you guys are itching to open up some Ultra Prism. I certainly, definitely <laughs> are itching to get some more, and I did actually, actually buy in a couple more for the channel just because Ultra Prism is just so hard to get. So, I figured let's go ahead and get ourselves some more Ultra Prism packs, and uh, hopefully we can get ourselves some decent pulls out of this kit. Now, while I'm opening this up, I will let you know that the code code winners are going to be down in the description box below. If you happen to see your name now in the description box below, that means you want some code cards. All you have to do is get a hold of me on my social media links. All the links are going to be down there for um, Amino Pokemon, Instagram, uh, Twitter, of course, Facebook. And if it's easier to send me a message on YouTube, please do so. Whatever works for you. Today's question of the day is, let me know which one has been your best or your most favorite uh, pre-release so far. I think Ultra Prism was definitely fun for me. Uh, but I do have to say maybe an X and Y, I think Phantom Forces that I actually went to a long time ago. Uh, yeah, uh, it actually was the funnest because I got to meet a lot of people. I got some really, really good decent pulls back in the in a day. It was awesome. And of course, well, you know, it had some really beautiful cards I was actually searching for. So that probably has been my best pre-release kit I've ever um, event actually, as well as a kit. Um, uh, for Pokemon. So let me know that in the comment section below and, and then I'll be selecting three winners for tomorrow's video. Okay, so I just opened up the uh, actual... Let me go ahead and put the camera down a little bit more. Here we go. And you guys get a better look. Uh, this thing was actually... Um, they were going for $19.99. So $21 altogether with the tax. And they do have Ultra Prism and Forbidden Light. So keep an eye for GameStop if you guys are hungry to get some Ultra Prism. Like I said, I don't know the values there because, well, they're about... 20 bucks which means they're about five dollars a pack which definitely definitely you know puts you in that category of overpaying big time for a pack but uh you do get a promo which i'm searching still for one so hopefully we can get the promo uh from this one um and, and that kind of makes it all good you know if, if you do and plus you can get malamar wait no that's that's forbidden light you can get uh what's the good promo for uh, ultra prism uh, I think it was like on rock, wasn't it? I don't know. Let's go ahead and find out. It's been a little bit now, and I kind of forgot. And by the way, this one still says pre-release, not building battle. I think moving on forward from now on is going to be building battle. Um, again, I, if you guys want to watch my theory on that, go ahead and check the video up here, and I kind of go over why I think they're making a building battle now uh, instead of pre-release kits. But whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what kind of. Um, I'm going to turn it the other way just to give it that whole factor off let's see what we're gonna get ready one two and three a wash rotom okay sure um i don't think i need this one for my collection but hey it's still cool anyway we'll go ahead and leave it right there and then of course we do have four packs it should be one of each artwork so yeah we have a leafeon a giratina and a, a dawn wings as well as a dust main across my so Let's go ahead and open up this, um, and I'm not even going to open this up because you guys already know what this is all about. It really doesn't matter. Uh, here's a Leafeon right here for the first pack, and hopefully we can get some first and last pack magic. Now, as I uh, always usually say, I have terrible, and I mean terrible luck when it comes to pre-releases. I never, ever get anything. Um, and I mean by that, I don't mean any like, you know, just regular good cards. I don't get anything like no ultra rares, no uh, full arts, nothing like that. So hopefully this will be a really good one. Here we have a Leaky Tongue. We have a Chimchar, Passimian, Bunnery, Carnivine, a Looker, okay, Yen Mega, Purugly, so ugly, a Turtonator, and that is a Reverse Hollow Uncommon, okay, and a Magnezone. Okay, at least one hollow is better than nothing at all. All right, here we go with the Giratina pack. So this would have been a um, pretty good hit if I would have gotten it, you know, the support for the Magnezone. That would have been absolutely amazing. So I don't know if I would have gotten it. Probably not, to be honest with you. But um, hey, whatever. It's all good in the hood. No big deal. All right, a Chimchar. Passimian. Bunnery, Carnivine, Sneasel, Cynthia, okay, Grottle, 
Grotto Grotto. Skateboard, actually, this is going to probably be a really good card uh, in the near future just because, um, like, Feldstone's rotating out, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, Skateboard will be the only way you're going to be able to kind of move your active back to your bench. Um, so, good to have him. Keep him up. Stack him up. A Turtwig Reverse Hollow, and that's a common. And a Roserade. Regular rare. Okay. So we'll do Dawn Wings Necrozma and then we'll end up with the Dawn Main Necrozma and see what that one is going to bring us. Hopefully we can get the last pack of magic from there. And then, um, I don't think so. Again, I usually have very, very bad luck when it comes to this thing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, a Snover. Camera was a little laggy there for a second. Sorry about that. A Mark Row. Gibble. Dewbiter. Stunky. Rotom. Unit Energy. Cosmoem, a reverse hollow, and that is an uncommon of a Gabite. And the last card is. Get out of here! <laughs> no way, dude! A missing clover, secret freaking rare. Holy smokes, dude! Now, let me tell you about this. This is actually pretty awesome. I'm sorry if I'm being ultra loud here. I'm super excited. Um, I was just about to buy this card online because I was just not pulling it. I don't care what I did. I broke box after box after box after everything that I could imagine has Ultra Prism in it. And it did not have this card. So I was about to buy it. It's not an expensive card. It's only about $7. Okay, so still a good hit though, obviously. 7 bucks is it's not bad for something that I paid 20 bucks with. We still have one pack left, by the way. Um, but luckily I did not buy it because I would have been really upset. I mean, I wouldn't have because all I had to do would be to just give it away to somebody. Um, uh, but I am super, super stoked that I got this because I've been wanting to pull this card, especially because of the green and the gold. It just, it, it's a beautiful card. So, um, wow, dude, that is awesome. And not only, not only that though, I just realized that this will be my very first ever good pull out of an all uh, pre-release kit that's just that i'm calling it that way so uh probably going to be the name of the video is going to be my best pre-release um kit it's just wow i'm lost out of words okay anyway moving on a, a missing clover reverse hollow i mean I reverse hollow. wow dude i'm really out of it today with this whole pull a secret rare wow i'm sorry about that again i'm really super excited so i apologize there we go a code card for one of you guys because you guys deserve it. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate all your support. And for those of you who have been commenting on my videos on the face cam, thank you so much. I do appreciate you guys pointing out some of the um, errors I'm making. I'm having a really hard time linking my audio to my uh, face cam. Um, you know, that's just my thing. So uh, I think I'm finally getting in there. So hopefully if you guys are watching this video, obviously properly, that means I fixed it. <laughs> so uh, there we go, dude, a Prism Star Solgaleo. Wow, this pre-release kit was um, and also metal. So it would have worked with a Magnezone. Wow, and a Hippodan, okay. So needless to say, I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve this bad boy real quick here. I, do, I just love this Prism Star cards. I do have more than a place that already of the Solgaleo for pretty much for everything. Uh, but nothing, nothing tops this off. I mean, at all. Missing Clover, Secret Rare, out of a pre-release kit uh, that I paid 20 bucks for. So, um, with the pulls, I guess, and the promo and all that stuff, yeah, I mean, I maybe I broke even, maybe, with the bulk, and I don't know what else. Uh, if not, maybe just slightly under. So, I'm um, not too upset, honestly, about it. Missing Clover, not a useful card by any means, but it's a beautiful card, and it just looks amazing, and I do love it a lot. So if you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you did not, well, give me a thumbs down and let me know how I can fix it and make it better for you guys. But please, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, because that's the only way you're going to be able to know if I'm making videos, as well as giveaways. And don't forget, Celestial Storm is just around the corner. So with that being said, you know giveaways are going to be coming up soon. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. If you're listening and watching open TCGs, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves.